started. Hey guys, welcome to tonight's mining stream. This is number 12. We will be doing some, yeah, obviously some more mining and I'll be answering all the fans' questions and, and talking about random topics and all that good stuff. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try answer it in the next mining live stream. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm going to actually do is swap out my pick for a, a fortune pick. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um... Do I have any bad ones? Oh, I've got a metric butt ton of stuff in here. Um, that's a good pick. So was that one. I will go ahead and use this one. Got shovel, got plenty of stuff. All right. Welcome, welcome. There's a bunch of people just showing up for the stream. There's a bunch of people showing up for the stream. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go open another strip. We've got... I haven't got 30 levels to waste, which is which is a good thing. I've been repairing a bunch of stuff, actually. Um, Daddy, you can turn the screen off if you need to get food. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I've got 48 cooked potatoes. I just don't want to give spoilers for upcoming episodes. I think, you know, it, a lot of people do actually like spoilers, but some people don't like spoilers, and yeah, so I just choose not to give them. Sometimes I do give them by accident, and yeah, <laughs> which is not a, not a good... Thing. All right. So as you can see, this mine shaft is getting long. So let's let's whack one on this side this time, and we'll go ahead and seal the other side off here, so we don't accidentally do the run running past thing. Okay. Good stuff. All right. So if you've got any questions, go ahead and post them in chat right now, and I'll uh, try read them out. But if there's no good topics, I'll go ahead and choose one, and we'll just start talking about it. Um. The Spoon of Doom. What the hell? I think he's talking about the texture pack. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just choose a topic here. Let's talk about this: the latest concept farm. Okay, so recently I designed a, um, a unique... Um, well, not really a unique, but a, a new type of farm, which is using slimes. Now, I didn't know about uh, the Zip Crowd's... Um, what would you call it? The Wither Wipe or whatever it was called. That was, um, I didn't know about that. Now, obviously, when somebody's like, oh, somebody's done this farm before, I freaked out. I'm like, oh, no, somebody's, it's a YouTuber's worst nightmare when somebody else has done that exact farm. But I went and watched that video, and it's not the exact farm. I was like, thank God. <laughs> it, it is definitely another YouTuber's worst nightmare when somebody's already done the farm. But no, it's not the same as Zip Crowds, thank God. Um... It is definitely different. Um, there's, there's this using these big pads and a bunch of redstone and gas and all sorts of crazy stuff. But yeah, mine is just simple, pretty much no redstone, just minecarts and slime. So yeah, mine is definitely much cheaper to produce, except the name tags. But um, yeah, it's definitely different. Thank God, as I said, I was stressing out when, when fans was like, oh, this has been done before somebody else built this farm. Yeah, they were trolling me hard, but... Uh, no, nobody has, uh, nobody has posted that exact farm before, which is good, thank, thank God. But, uh, that farm is extreme, holy smokes, does it produce, there is almost, in five minutes, there's like, oh, there's at least two inventories full of, uh, loot laying on the pads itself. I have yet to do any number tests, I think that's what people are waiting for, is, um, to see what the numbers are. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be high. I, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be right up there, which is, is it's going to produce a metric butt ton. I'm going to have to go and do that at a later point. I've got some ideas to change the farm up a bit. And people have already been tweeting me uh, pictures of the farm being recreated in survival. Holy smokes. I knew it, knew it wouldn't take long. It would not take long for, for people to recreate that crazy mob farm in in survival so holy smokes if you haven't seen the um the new concept for the mob farm um i'll leave a link in the description below if you're watching this on youtube or uh, i'll get a mod to post it in chat right now so you guys can head over there and give it don't forget to leave a like and a share and and even leave a comment if you like it um much appreciate it. As I said, if when, when we get we get the word out there, we share it around. People actually do build it, and people have already tweeted um, pictures of their own um, farm like that. So I can't. It was amazing. 
I'm gonna I retweeted some pictures already I think if you head over to my Twitter you'll be able to scroll down and see the pictures that I retweeted of somebody else's uh, somebody recreated that slime farm well not slime farm but mob farm using slime so very cool very cool I can't wait to see more pictures and definitely and um, yeah it should be good it should be good okay <laughs> Um, okay, so they're talking about data in red. We'll bring that up in a second. So what I'm, what I'm going to do with that farm, guys, is I'm going to test it, do some more testing in the nether and see how well it wo works as a gold farm, a traditional nether gold farm. And I probably would take it out to the end and see how it does against the enderman. I think that would be very, very curious, um, just to see the, net, the numbers out there as well, but guarantee it will be pretty extreme. Now, for that farm, the only expensive bit is those name tags. Holy smokes, there is 40 slimes in minecarts, all named Bob. So 40 name tags will be ridiculous amount to get. Now, getting slimes in a minecart itself is meh. It's easy. Look at my old slime farm. It was producing, it was producing like, um, many, many slimes. So, getting a minecart down there, picking up the large slimes and taking them wherever, that's easy. People who say it's like getting slimes into a minecart is going to be so hard. No, no it's not. Um, if you have a working slime farm, it will be absolutely fine. You will, you'll be absolutely fine. But the name tags, yeah, the name tags are definitely necessary. If you do not have uh, the mobs named, they are hostile mobs. They will despawn when you walk for too far away. Um, if you unload the chunk, they possibly despawn. If you leave the game, they possibly despawn. What name tag does is once you name a mob, it stays. It's there. It's constant. And that's what the name tag does. So you need to name it. It doesn't matter what, um, what name uh, what name you use, but yeah, you just you just have to name it. But it's definitely a good and unique. F well, yeah, it is definitely a good and unique farm, and and uh, nobody else has done that exact design, which is fantastic. I love coming up with the uh, new stuff like that, which is fantastic. But yeah, definitely the name tags will be the most expensive out of that farm. Definitely the most expensive. And as I said, people have already tweeted, tweet, started tweeting me pictures of the construction and finished product of uh, farms built in survival already, which is fantastic. It's awesome. Sorry, I'm going on and on and on and on like a pork chop about the those those slimes named Bob, but it's pretty cool. the The amount of loot that that produces is just extreme. Now, as people are suggesting to get the name tags, you can AFK, use an AFK fish farm, because you can get f um, name tags from fishing. So there's a possibility right there that I might actually build it in the future and have, you know, a very, very crazy mob farm on my survival world. So it is a temptation to go ahead and can start constructing it now, but um, as of this time, I don't, I only have like, what, two or three name tags under my belt, so <laughs> only 37 to go! <laughs> yeah, uh, they're just talking about the AFK fish farm in, in chat now. But yeah, AFK fish farm, and yeah, that's the, slimes are so easy to get. Meh, they're so easy. Now, if you're with, if you're gonna do it with magma cubes, oh, good luck. Mag magma cubes are a little bit rarer than slimes, but slimes are so easy to get. Literally, you could just go to a swamp by and push a minecart into a slime. GG, you've got one slime. You do that over and over and over again. Yeah. So much, much easier to get slimes than than it would be, say, magma cubes. It'd be crazy doing the magma cube trick. Oh, um, now, yeah. As I said, I'll 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 get you guys numbers. I I know everybody's waiting for those important how much items per hour it produces. I've got to get those numbers, but I've been absolutely flat out recently. So, yeah. Please forgive me. I will probably try and get. A, another video of that farm but a bit modified I'm gonna start playing with modifying it um, of that farm um, probably during the week so give me to during the week and then we'll I'll go ahead and try get those numbers for you guys um, yeah I, I, I don't know I love that farm I absolutely love that farm and people are wanting download the world download for that farm no problem I think I'm gonna update the uh, that video to have a link to the download because the the world that it's built on is only like three meg because I went and created a new just a new uh, creative world and just you know built it in there just yeah wasn't on my 
my hardcore test wild or else you would see other unique farms which i don't want to show off yet it's meant for the 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 the, the main series there so yeah I, I wouldn't ever try you know give too much spoilers out there um i will offer that download that people really 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 want to okay so let's move on i've been yabbering about that the new crazy farm that that i did well there we go let me get a drink of coffee real quick Ah, good stuff. Yummy. All right, let's go ahead and continue. And, um, all right, so next topic, we just finished talking about the that ridiculously crazy mob farm that I built. Um, next topic is people want me to talk about DNR. Now, if you don't know, the DNR came to an end today. It was the final episode 60, along with the world tour and download, so you can go download the latest DNR map, you know, with the gold farm and all that good stuff. Just remember, guys, that gold farm was built for 1.7, not 1.8. Very, it feels very slow in 1.8. It feels like they've nerfed the the spawn rates of pigmen coming out of those portals. So that's just a heads up because people are already reporting that the the new gold farm in the DNR which was built in 1.7, is for some reason very sluggish. And that I confirmed that. I went and tested it myself. In 1.7, it seems to run real quick. But in 1.8, it seems to be sluggish. So it looks like they may have nerfed they may have nerfed the, that gold farm. I'm not 100% sure. I'll need to do some more testing. But it just feels very nerfed. When I loaded it up and seen the rate, it felt, it felt nerfed, okay? So, yeah, and pl plus people are already reporting that straight away. Oh, I can hear nasties. Can you hear nasties? I can hear nasties. Oh. Hello, gold. I actually need that gold. And there's one there. I am not getting knocked into the lava because everybody would be like, Fried data! No fried data. No. So let's go ahead and pillar up. Yowch! That is what I didn't want happening. Alright, I'm going to hit... The gold is important for me right now, especially an upcoming farm that I want to build. Gold is very important. I'm going to use metric butt-tons of it. And we need a gold farm. We definitely do. People have been saying it. I'm, I know. We're only up to episode 21 tomorrow. Yeah, 21 of the main Let's Play s series. The Minecraft Down Under already. So, holy smokes. I think we're doing quite well. Let's have a squiz in here, make sure we get all the iron out. Grab that. The bat is on fire. Nope, we're not going to go any deeper. Oh, gold. Just one piece. Pfft. That's pretty pathetic. Alright, let's continue. Alright, so people really want to know, really, the big question is, is the DNR going to have a Season 3? And to be honest, guys, I am not 100% sure. I am definitely not 100% sure on a Season 3 for DNR at this time. So, yeah, that's that's just a heads up. If, well, lucky I'm holding shift. Even if there was a Season 3, um, it would be probably after Christmas before the donators would get the access to the videos. Holy smokes, first... Um, but yeah, there is no news on a di Ooh, diamonds. No news on season three. So, grab these. There we go. Fantastic. Light this cave up. Grab the iron as well. Nothing. Just one piece of iron. That's just. That's not cool. But yeah, there, there's, there'll be a possibility of our season three. Um, it's a 50-50 shot at this time. A lot of fans are going back and doing some work right now and, you know, liking, sharing, commenting, trying to bring in some of the older episodes and they're sharing on their social media as well, hashtagging it and all that good stuff, you know. It's it's helping because at the moment the DNR series actually takes a lot to be, to make. To Literally, the time it takes to make is ridiculous and, and um, you know, it's got to be worth it. If there's only a couple thousand dedicated fans i must point that out they're very dedicated you know it's not really worth going out of the way and and making it sort of thing but um you'll have to wait and see because uh, that's why i asked the fans just to do that little bit of work you know liking and sharing and commenting all that good stuff is is it's 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 good for the episode it helps yeah people are all like i love dnr even if you don't watch dnr um yeah there's always the main series 
That's why I've always got multiple series on my channel, just to attract multiple sets of audiences. You know, we've got a bunch of dedicated DNR followers in chat right now, and we've got a bunch of uh, MDU followers, which is Minecraft Down Under followers, in chat right now too. So, it is all good. <laughs> Alrighty. Let me get that up. I'm going to get another drink of coffee, so give me a second. <sighs> Alright. So, yeah, the DNR, yeah, the numbers are not there. Uh, the Minecraft Down Under is doing really well. Seem to be getting three, seven to 8,000 views on average on those episodes, which is obviously pretty damn high. It's almost to my goal. My goal, as I was explaining a while back, my goal is 10,000 per Let's Play episode of my main series. I think that's that's my goal right there, to get that per episode. It's... Asking a lot, I know, because I'm only a small YouTuber, but I'll get there one day. I'll get there one day. I would love for the DNR to be getting that, but it's getting low numbers, which is disappointing. So, we'll see. We'll see. So, just stay tuned for any news on DNR. Um, I will stop talking about it sometime, because uh, people are going to get kind of tired of me bringing up DNR all the time. It's, um, But, yeah, the more harder the fans do work at the getting the, um, the DNR up, then... I'll definitely look into doing a season, definitely looking into doing a season three, which will be amplified, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it will be amplified. Holy smokes, Mr. Red's going to climb those giant mountains and poop himself. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Holy smokes. Okay. All right. All right. So I think we need to, uh, guys, post your questions, post your questions in chat. I, I need to be communicating with you guys a little bit more. Um, that's what I'm here for, you know. I don't get paid to do Twitch streams. I just get to, to streaming to, so you guys watch me do all, you know, mining the resources and I get to chat at the same time, talk about stuff. Um, okay. Um, Daddy, you can't ask too many views and likes because you say the DNR is adults and most of your subscribers are children. Actually, most of my subscribers, the highest percentage is 18 to 24 years old, according to the analytics. So, yeah. Mind blown much? <laughs> so, I was actually blown. Like, um, me and Red went and looked at uh, the stats of the channel and seen, you know, where my audiences come from. And the audiences mostly come from the United States. And the average age for my channel is 18 to 24 years old. That's the highest percentage. So, yeah, and we've got some, some really old people as well. So, just bits and pieces. That, and I think it's only 14 point something percent in, of, in the people under 18. So, which is good. Um, whoa, there is a wall of text there. Um, okay, I don't think I'll skip that one. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm doing this live stream really late tonight. I do apologize, because I normally do live stream on Saturday nights, because it seems to, I can get, I can get the Australians, because the Australians, you know, it's Saturday night for Australia, and, um, and I can get the Americans at the same time, so which is, which is a good thing. It's a fantastic thing if I can get all you guys at the same time. Holy smokes. And I'm not sure what time is in the UK right now, but hopefully it's a perfect time. I know it's early in the morning for Americans. I think it's 8, 9 o'clock on a Saturday morning. I'm not 100% sure there. But um, hopefully, hopefully I got most of the... Uh, whoa, we're full. Whoopsie daisies. Let's, t let's, you know, let's turn around and go unload. Um, okay. Okay. But, um, yeah, alright, so I think people, not, um, not many questions are coming out. Let me bring a text document from YouTube. Um, okay. Ah, oh, we were just talking about that, but somebody asked, Data, at this stage, do you think that the DNR series will continue? As I was just saying, mate, um, it's 50-50 shot at this point of time. Um, not 100% sure. Now, Mr. Red says it's uh, fine with him if we do give it a good to go, if we get the views up and we go ahead. Mr. Red said it's all good and he would love to do Amplified with me and I would love to do Amplified with him and we're going to get up some crazy stuff. But as I said, it's 50-50 at this, this point in time. So we'll see you on C. Just wait until after Christmas. All right. 
Uh, Data, what would your favorite enchantment be? I would say efficiency, but fortune's also my second one. But who, you know, unbreaking is, oh, it's really hard to choose. Unbreaking's just awesome because people just look past unbreaking. Unbreaking is useful because it makes your pick last so much longer. If you have efficiency four on a pick, on a diamond pick, it just wears out so quickly. But an unbreaking three efficiency four pick, holy smokes, it just lasts for ages. I think people overlook uh, unbreaking all the time. I think that would be really cool to get an unbreaking four or five. Holy smokes. Um, okay, let's go to the next question. Data, you're going to do more garden videos. Yes, I've been doing gardening, but uh, have been capturing a little bit on video, but not a lot due to my amateur real life recording um, skills, you know, I don't have proper equipment. It's it's really difficult to actually, you know, do stuff with your hands and, and shoot at the same time. And yeah, I do have some footage that I may upload to the site at some point if uh, if anybody's interested in their garden, gardening videos I did do because I have a pretty nice garden out there. Got a big veggie garden this year. That should be, that should be going, getting all planted very shortly. Holy smokes, it will definitely be getting planted very shortly but just stay um, stay tuned to the site if I do post any garden videos the the first place it will be on is the dataless822.net so which is good all right so let's go ahead and unload um, diamonds and diamonds and coal in coal and let me bring up chat again just to make sure I'm not missing any questions while I'm unloading here um, you need a forehead cam. Yeah, I would love a forehead cam. Like, if you're talking about for the garden videos, yeah, I would love, like, a GoPro mounted to my head, and that would make work so much easier. <laughs> oh, I'll think about investing in a GoPro at some point very soon. All right. I'm going to have to start compressing the redstone back down again. I have been using some of it. As you can see, some of the blocks have been used. But we can definitely compress that down in future okay so we'll throw this in the furnace get all that smelted down and we'll top up our thing okay let's throw this and this um, fantastic <laughs> hashtag save Dina oh come on guys come on let's let's go let's go to this Let's, let's uh, bring up some different types of questions now. Okay. All right. Let's start another strip. Uh, I've got to go, Data. Bye. Bye, mate. Thanks for coming to the stream. Much appreciated. Time to get a drink of coffee. <sighs> yeah, you can tell I'm a little bit tired tonight because it is after 11 o'clock at night in Australia right now, and I've had a very, very long day. Um, here for me, you know, me with my schedule being just crazy and all, so I am a little bit tired, and but I thought I'll do this live stream anyway, neither know I am, I am tired, but, you know, everybody appreciates, uh, data, um, alright, let's go ahead and start the stream, alright, good stuff, I think, um, we'll start on this side now, It's just, I'm surprised that we haven't found any diamonds or any craziness, like caves we hit. Because look how long the mineshaft is. Literally, it is just getting insane. This is where all the resources have come in from. Alright, let's start on this side. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, let's bring up the next question. If you've got any questions, feel free to post them either in site chat or Twitch chat. Now, I'm reading all. I multitask. You know, I'm talking to you guys, mining, reading two different chats. Um, yeah, um, uh, how do you have all the patience to mine so long? Well, mate, talking to you guys kind of makes it go a little bit quicker, and, you know, I I've gave them tips out in the past, uh, watching TV shows, if you have multi-monitors, which some, most, actually most people have multi-monitors nowadays, even a laptop or an iPad or something, um, usually, you know, sitting, setting up a TV series, you know, starting a new TV series or watching a, um, movies or something while you mine, it makes the time go past, 
uh, heaps fast. I, I love doing that. I know some people are not good at multitasking. They cannot mine and watch something at the same time. But trust me, you get good at it. When I very first started my, my original uh, Build Big or Go Home series, you know, I was a rookie and had no clue what I was doing. And, and it was difficult for me to multitask. What I mean, like, talk to you guys while playing Minecraft. Did you know that? It was difficult. Because back in the old days... Back in the old days with the, um, what's it called, the giant farms, you know, the giant farms I used to build before I started a Let's Play series, if some of the old subscribers will know that, but I used to do voiceovers, not kidding you, voiceovers, because I couldn't play Minecraft and do it at the same time, but when I started the Let's Play series, I think there's only two episodes in the entire series I had to do a voiceover thanks to screw-ups, but, you know, you get better at multitasking and talking and and all that stuff over time, you know, especially the amount of time you spend doing it, like me, holy smokes. Alright, um, Data, are you enjoying the new Doctor? I think he's talking about Doctor Who. Um, the new Doctor and Doctor Who is very dark, and, uh, I think he, I'm getting used to him. You know, every time that he, a new Doctor comes along, it's very difficult to adjust. You know, you're used to the other guy, and now I'm getting used to this guy, and when this guy goes away, and we're going to have to do the same thing with the next one. But my opinion on the new Doctor, it feels very dark, and it just, it, I don't know, there's something about him just makes me feel, he feels like a very dark Doctor. Um, Alright, let's move on. What else do we got? Um, what's your opinion on the branch mining compared to strip mining branch mining compared to strip mining uh, I don't know the way I mine I feel it's perfectly fine like everybody has their own way of mining I know people will scream efficiency this efficiency that this way you get more ores blah de blah de blah whatever I like to mine like this and yeah I don't think I'll ever change it to be honest I have changed the distance between each of these these strip mines that I've done before okay I have I have um, I have changed the distance. I used to do, I think it was three gap a, a while ago, as you guys know, but then I moved back to a two gap. I think I've rotated both 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 ways before, but um, you know, you remember my old map? Look at the metric butt ton of resources I had on that. That that was all from just strip mining, literally. Remember, I found a stack and a half of diamonds in one strip. Yeah, true story. That on in a live stream, a stack and a half of diamonds in one strip. So. You know, I think it's all about luck, to be honest, and if you have a fortune pick or not. <laughs> um, Alright, let's go ahead and answer the next question. Um, Data finally got to catch your streams. Well, fantastic. Good stuff. Um, your buildings are um, awesome. Keep up the amazing work. Well, thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Um, I'm glad that you enjoy my content. That's the whole point, you know. There would be no point in producing the content if nobody's really enjoying it. I enjoy playing Minecraft. I enjoy building crazy stuff. I, mean, yeah, it's it's awesome fun. Awesome fun. Um, all right. Uh, data is well. That just went out the window. Uh, just released you know, uh, um, all right let's go ahead and pull up another question from the the text document which this is from YouTube by the way um, these questions are from YouTube I'm, I'm switching between quick text document and two other chats at the moment so I'm trying to get everybody in here so just be patient with me when I go quiet that's either I'm reading questions or I'm changing windows or or something good like that so please be patient all right, let's, um, um, have you tried adding hot chocolate and coffee together? Hot chocolate and coffee together. No, no, I haven't. Um, it sounds like it would be a match made in heaven, though. <laughs> Doesn't it ever? Sounds like something you'll have, like, um, on a very cold, um, morning. Mm, that would just be, I'll, I'll try that one day. I'll just try that one day, but it sounds awesome. It really, really does. Um, okay. Why not use Jacko lanterns for lighting under the floor of the base? Um, because I would need a pumpkin farm, and that would just create more work. Um, people w do prefer Jacko lanterns 
um, to use as poor man lighting because glowstone is quite expensive and quite time consuming to gather as I'm finding out <laughs> a very pain in the backside to gather but um, yeah you can use jack-o-lanterns you can just use plain torches as they said out of sight out of mind I suppose like if you have it hidden under carpet then no one will ever notice poor man lighting which is just torches with carpet over the top of it now I'm pretty sure I will be going with some poor man lighting and temporarily until I do get some sort of a good flow of um, of uh, glowstone. Now, if I had that mob farm that I built, holy smokes, I'd have the glowstone no problem because the amount of witches that thing drops, whoo, no need for a witch farm with that thing. <laughs> it is absolutely crazy. Oh, getting a decent amount of iron tonight, which is always a, a good thing. 38 already. Um, okay, let me switch back to chat, make sure I'm not missing any questions here. So if you don't forget, guys, if you've got a question, just go ahead and post her in chat right now. Um, hey, Data, how do I chat in, in YouTube? Um, I'm live streaming to, not to YouTube, but to Twitch, mate. Um, um, some people do stream to, to YouTube. I, sw I stream to Twitch and then upload it to YouTube later on. So people don't really watch this live, right? Some people, do, you know, got work or school or something, you know, they're, they're doing something, right? So I try to upload this to YouTube and what actually happens is, you know, I tell people, hey, you know, if you miss a stream and you've got a question to ask me, feel free to post it in the, the live stream that I posted. And then what I'll do is gather up decent comments. I don't gather them all up because far out there's some nasty ones in there and there's some ones that I've answered a bazillion times before, but... Um, yeah, gather the comments up and come here, and then when I do the next stream, I pretty much try read them out in the next stream. Okay? Good stuff. And there's a, the, as um, one of the moderators just posted an FAQ, which has a metric button of information about me, my real name, um, my computer specs, um, what software do I use, you know, the whole shebang. The whole shebang, you know? So... Feel free to check that out before even asking a comment. Comment, you probably find your answers, your questions already been answered. <laughs> um, all right, Data, would you shave your beard? No, 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 no. I'm not shaving my beard. Sorry, I am definitely not shaving my beard. My beard is staying attached to my face. Only real men grow beards. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not not shaving my beard. Oh wow, that's that's not nice right there. Um, all right, hey Daddy, is there some kind of trick that you use when enchanting your gear, like three enchantments instead of of or one? I don't sort of get that, but no, I don't use a trick. I just use bulk. Um, at the moment, as you guys know, you, as you guys know, like you know, my my blaze farm produces a a metric butt ton of XP at the moment, so getting 50, 60 levels and coming home and doing a bunch of enchants is quite easy, um, especially with the new 1.8 enchanting system, you know, in 1.7, 10, yeah, holy smokes, it costs 30 levels to enchant a level 30 item, but now it only costs 3 levels to enchant a level 30 item, it's, yeah, you can see where I'm going with this, it's quite easy to uh, have a metric butt ton of stockpiled enchants, so... Yeah, don't forget to repair those tools too when they get down to near nothing then repair them up until they get too expensive and then you just go ahead and repair them again. Um the hell. <laughs> um all right, good stuff. Um All right, I think there oh, hang on a sec. I'm missing site chat here. Just sorry guys, give me a sec. Um Data, what is I think um, data wheat. What? I, I, there's a question there that I can't read. Probably. I think it's what is your favorite aspect of of Minecraft? And what drew me drew me in in the first place was like the terrain being fully moldable by you. You're the player. That's what drew me in in the first place. You know. Um, you know, being able to dig mine shafts and just shape the terrain and go in nearly infinity out in every direction, you know. Holy smokes, you know, randomly generated terrain. That sort of stuff, when I was hearing it, I was like, no way, that can't be true. It's like, yep, 
everything's destructible and shape the terrain and and there's monsters and you got to survive your nights you know that was this that was brand new stuff you know minecraft sort of paved the way for a lot of games in that that area but um holy smokes did it draw me in and it draw, draw <laughs> look at me now <laughs> holy smokes hey data just love the these this mining live stream well fantastic mate glad you can join us glad you can join us um Data, what are your plans on doing thing with that mushroom island that you found? I'm not sure. That that's a good one for this week, guys. If uh, what do you want to see done with that mushroom island? Just leave a comment in chat and leave a comment in the live stream. If you're watching this on YouTube, just leave a comment down below. But yeah, what do you think I should do with that? The mushroom biome, which is right near my base. You know what? My I'm sort of on an island. If you guys didn't know that, I'm like on a a tip of an island almost it uh yeah all right um data um data do you like bacon if so what is your favorite kind i think everybody likes bacon uh, except vegetarians obviously but mmm bacon and egg rolls in the morning ha 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 barbecue sauce don't even get me started but but nothing can beat chicken i'm sorry nothing can beat chicken Oh, crikey. Uh, everybody's saying a mushroom farm, giant shroom castle. What? <laughs> um, uh, mushroom farm. I could try a mushroom farm. Holy smoke, there's a, there's a big, big patch right here. That was, that was a nice patch right there. Uh, make a farm. I think people want to make me make a farm out there. I think we will do a farm at one point in time, guys. We'll definitely do a farm at one point of time out there but we need to concentrate on finishing the base I really want to move in by episode 30 that is my goal is like to be in have a beacon by episode 30 that is it that is my goal is to do all that by episode 30 I know it's asking a lot because of the time you know that I have already but I reckon I can do it the amount of work that's being tipped into my base right now is a metric butt ton and um, I know some people don't really enjoy the building episodes. They more like me exploring and playing with redstone and all that stuff. Remember, guys, I'm trying to mix it up. You will see a couple building episodes, and then I'll go off and do something else and all that good stuff. So don't worry about it. I'll try and mix it up the best I can to, to sort of satisfy everybody when it comes to that sort of stuff. Now, don't forget episode 21 is going up tomorrow or in the morning for everybody now. So episode 21 will be going up in the morning for everybody. Uh, we will be tackling... We will be... Oh, I even forgot what I did in freaking episode 21. I'm pretty sure uh, it's either 21 or 20. Yeah, well, tomorrow will be 21 and the next way will be 22. Um, in both these episodes, we start uh, exploring that Guardian farm. Uh, well, not Guardian farm. We start exploring the... Um, the t underwater temple. Holy smokes, did I get lost in the underwater temple. Round two, underwater temple, data the noob. Holy smokes, did I scream like a girl. Don't forget to turn your headphones down when it comes to that episode. Oh, I'm not too proud of that episode at all. But um, yeah, um, I did do research. I, I look like a total noob, but I did do some research after I shot that episode. Um, but apparently, because I got lost in the temple, I did kill... Oh, actually, I'm not going to give spoilers. I'm not going to give spoilers, but I did do ep I did do research after that episode because I felt such like a noob about those temples. So, yeah, just reminding people that before they watch the episode upcoming episode. Yeah, I think I'm not going to talk about that because I don't want to give spoilers. That's just mean. You guys have to wait until the episode goes live. And also, in an upcoming episode, we start we're going to play with a blaze farm again. Um, we're going to go put some safety features in and. Uh, off and on switch for the farm pretty much oh got some plans with that oh diamonds so that that's coming up in the next couple days so yeah tomorrow 21 next day 22 and the next day after that guess what dnr intro bloopers so hopefully you guys enjoy that and don't forget to leave a like it does help a lot so you know when you're going to watch the mdu or dnr just just leave that like or a comment you know expressing whatever happened in that in that episode it's it's pretty cool but yeah um so got some great content coming up for you guys in the next few days i uh, hopefully remember guys the the dnr intro bloopers adults only please holy smokes adults only when it comes to dnr bloopers there's a whole nine ten minutes of 
pure intro stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> so please, yeah. But um, yeah, good stuff. All right, let me go ahead and run back because we are we have a full inventory right now, and um, gonna run back and unload it and uh, get all that good stuff going. Alrighty, Daddy, you should make a straw poll on how many people. Would... What? <laughs> oh, they're talking about straw polls and stuff. No, 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 no. I can't do straw polls while I'm mining. You think I'm that good at multitasking? Looking at two different chat windows, talking to you guys, and playing a game, you think I could make straw polls at the same time? Holy smokes. Okay. Day to do season 3 with reds in a new 1.8 present present option. Uh, with lava ocean? Yeah, right. Screw that. Um... To answer to your question, what well, wrong way? Answer to your question there, mate. There might be a season three of DNR. We've already been over this multiple times, but um, it will be in a 1.8 amplified map, okay? So we will be bringing back sort of an amplified survival, but with craziness of me and Mr. Red in 1.8. Um, uh, that's if it happens. Don't get your blooming hopes up. I, I don't want to let anyone down here. That's I really, really don't want to let anyone down here. That is it possible to make a death counter with a player only kill? I think it is. It's definitely possible to make a death counter, but player only, I'm not 100% sure on that. But I really don't want to... You have to enable command... You have to enable cheats to put a death counter on, and I don't want to do that because people will think, Oh my god, you cheated! And blah, 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 you know, and all that stuff, and you don't want that. I, I, you, don't, you don't want that sort of attention. It's really unwanted attention, if you ask me, when it comes to death counters. That's why me and, me and Mr. Red, we did not decide on a death counter for season two because we promised it but then we thought about it and we're like Ugh, you know people are going to call us all sorts of names and all that nonsense so we decided against it at the end of the day that was our decision to go against uh doing the death counter but um all right let's grab this holy smokes we haven't we got more we got iron coming out the yu yang that's good that's fine by me we'll go throw these in the big main furnaces up here then there we go all right, there, let that cook away, throw this away in the iron chest, fantastic, good stuff, all right, um, do you guys want one more strip, it's really late for me, I did say at the beginning of the stream, it is going to be a short stream today, but do you guys want one more strip before uh, I knock off, it is, it's late for me, and I am tired, but um, yeah, no, I think, I think I might do one more strip, you know, I don't want it too short of a stream, I think we'll definitely do one more strip, let me top up this throw that in there um, there we go fantastic let's do another strip okay all right fantastic oh it's good to see bones is finally home which is good um all right let's go everybody scream yeah yeah one more strip <laughs> somebody said build i can't build i'll show you the next couple episodes and i don't want to give spoilers I don't want to give spoilers, I apologize. This is a mining live stream. Normally when I build farms and stuff, I will build them in live stream, especially if they are huge. So just so people know that I've built them, you know, fully legit and all that good stuff. But um, to do with my base is, all, you know, bits and pieces have been done and I don't want to, you know, yeah, spoil upcoming episodes is probably the best word. Actually, I'm going to... We did really well with the iron on this side. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, another strip on this side again. Yeah, people are like, yeah, no spoilers. Yeah, so no spoilers. Um, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. Data, do you go to PAX Australia? No, I do not. It's where's PAX this year? Is it in Melbourne? Does anyone know? Is it in Melbourne? Not sure. I have to wait until it catches up, but. I'm not sure where it is this year. It's a little bit too far away from me. I live in Canberra, so if it is in Melbourne, it's probably it, that's eight-hour drive. Whew. Um, gets up super early. Yes, I do. I wake up nearly at four to three a.m. every day to start my day. I, uh, I, you know, I try to do a little bit of exercise. I do go for an early morning walk because, as you guys know, I look like a blooming potato. 
Um, so I do try to get a little bit of exercise in and then I come home and I sometimes live stream or I start work on my Minecraft projects or doing something and uh, textures as well then I've got to look after the server and make sure the server is running smoothly and then check my messages on the site and YouTube and Facebook and twi uh, Twitter and whew, you know it is whoa it is very 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 busy day in the life of Daedalus 822 <laughs> 3 to 4 4 to 3 a.m. yeah that's true it's WTF moment but you guys got to understand you know I've got fans all the way around around the world and to make the fans all the way around the world happy I have to live stream at extreme times so usually I'm live streaming by five o'clock in the morning my time five to six o'clock in the morning my time and um, just to make the Americans you know happy which which I don't mind doing you know keeping my fan base happy is what I try to do um, but in this live this live stream tonight is for the Australians because it's more Australian time but it sort of fell on fell on the American time as well but I, I don't do anything outside these two times, so don't ask to do any other sort of live stream unless it's something special coming up. Because um, the last series I didn't do, I barely did any American live streams. I, yeah, did barely any American live streams. And I promised my American subscriber base, uh, you know, in the, next, in, the, in the next main series, I would definitely try my very best to get... You get you know more more streams to you guys and I am I'm trying my very hardest to get more of these streams to you guys so um, it is a good time right now for Australia like don't get me wrong it is late right now and I'm very tired but um, I think it's a fantastic time because you Australia it's Saturday night for Australia and, and and Australians like to stay up so it's perfect time and I'm pretty sure it's the morning for Americans so it's sort of the perfect time they're overlapping right now um, a 24-hour live stream for episode 50. What? Are you kidding? I'll fall asleep by the time I get to uh, 16, 16 hours in. Holy smokes. Oh, that would be crazy. Um, Twitch only accepts two-hour live streams. Yeah, that's totally true. Um, Twitch will only save two hours. That, that That's a better... That's how to word a little bit better. But you can do more than a two-hour live stream on Twitch. But guess what? Twitch will not save your progress. So... You know, if I ever do a 16-hour live stream again, guess what? Only people get to see it live. It will never be kept on you, on Twitch, which is so sad. I can record it to my hard drive, but you guys already know my internet is shockingly bad. That's why I can only stream in 480p. Um, it's shockingly bad. Could you imagine me trying to upload a 16-hour live stream to YouTube? Good luck, Data. Holy smokes. <laughs> or a 24-hour live stream? Oh, man, that would just be crazy. That would definitely be absolutely out of this world. Um, okay, I didn't miss anything in my site chat. Uh, up to you, Dado. Yep, okay, so I didn't miss anything in time chat. Um, yeah, it's 10 a.m. in a... Well, I can't even read that whatever word that is. Holy smokes. Um, yeah, all right, let's switch back over to that text, that almighty text document I have full of those um, good questions, just so I can read another one out. Alright, okay. Um, Alright, switch back over here. Um, Data, are you going to build a farm with the new villager AI where they harvest and plant seeds? Possibility, like um, in, my, in my old Build Big or Go Home series, I did actually have a... Um, I, I did, was starting a villager recycling and purifying station on purpose because I was had plans on te having test dummies and playing around with that uh, feature but uh, you know obviously we started a new map and now we need a new villager purifying station um, uh, because you know oh I can kidnap villagers from the village but I'm, I want to build a villager purifying station because I've got a new version um, I've got a brand new concept version um, for a vi villager purifying station so um, I really want to build that on this map since it's new and different, which is going to be good. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. And yes, we will be probably playing around with the new AI, I think. I, I've got to read a little bit more about the new AI, to be honest, because I don't know too much about the new planting or anything else. I know a bunch of subscribers have linked me videos in the past, but um, yeah, it's, I, I didn't, didn't um, keep the the information which I should have um, so I've got to go I guess read wikis at some point and 
see how it all works and what what what's got to go on and all that good stuff. Let me switch back over to chat. But um, yeah, um, probably definitely we'll be playing. We'll we'll see. We will see how um, what goes. Uh, villagers now need to be willing to breed now. It's really annoying. Yeah, but that's the whole point of using a villager purifying station. Is you bypass that whole breed crap and just have a purifying station. Yeah, kidnap another Santa Claus. No, 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 no. We'll just we'll just build a village villager breeding station, a purifying station version two. Uh, this one will be much more better than the last one. I guarantee it. Um, yeah, so we'll experiment with these poor villagers at some point. Uh, Data, do you have have been have you been experimenting with slime blocks or building farms using it? No, I have not. I have not. <laughs> I've been using the live uh, slimes to be building farms, yes, but not the slime blocks. Uh, morning, mate. Welcome to the live stream. Somebody just uh, joined. Fantastic. Well, welcome to the live stream. Um, oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, morning mate, good stuff, glad you could join us, um, we're just doing a last strip now, so if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in chat and I'll try and get to them soon, we, we've we talked about a few topics today, I think we talked about the DNR and textures, uh, no we haven't even talked about textures today, DNR, the new prototype farm that I built, which is, yeah, the, 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 the slime one, which was good. Um, right, okay, let's, no one's asking any questions right now, so let's bring up the text document and have a look. Um, I was wondering if you would build the zombie purifying with the villager recycle you had planned. We were just talking about that. Um, possibility, yes, there's definitely a possibility we'll definitely be building the recycler if it still works in 1.8. My prototype version, I'm not even sure if it still works, to be honest with you. You'll have to wait and see. Um, alright, let's go to the next question, uh, Data, would you go to, um, her Hermitcraft, if asked, I'm not 100% sure on, on, it must be a famous YouTuber's server, or famous YouTuber's servers, I'm not sure, I don't really have the time, but I suppose if uh, asked, and I would probably go do specials or something like that, no problem, but, um, at the moment, uh, time constraints is probably what's going to kill me um, to start any sort of any sort of things on any sort of server. Okay, let's go to uh, data. Are you going to use new block like andesite, diorite, and granite in the polished and their polished versions? Yes, yes, I will. I'll be starting a brand new project upcoming soon um we'll be definitely building out of all three of those polished blocks so you know i'll make you guys happy we're going to definitely do that um probably get started on that maybe next weekend so keep an eye out for that all right let me bring up chat make sure i'm not missing anything in there holy smokes uh data think you should go to sleep it's almost 1 a.m yeah i will i will we're on our last strip i just wanted to get a late night live stream in to, for the australians and the americans tonight um all right, data. Well, data does not like the question of zombie pigment AI. Keeping asking what? And did I have? Oh, well, I can't even read. That's long. Please accept invites to. I don't. I don't get any invites. Trust me. No other famous YouTubers contact me for any sort of specials or anything like that. So, yeah, just just a heads up there. Um. I mean, Oz, Queensland, fantastic, alright, I hear nasties and I don't want to die, let me go light this, this little cave up, there we go, we're keeping an eye out for any spawners, because we haven't come across any spawners in this series yet, except like blaze spawner and, um, um, spider spawner, cave spider spawner, but that's about it, you know, nothing extreme, just started watching the stream, well, welcome to mate, welcome to the stream, well, I'm glad you can, you can make it. Um, data. I'm, I'm the girl you asked if my photo was real. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think the girl. I think I've only got five percent girl subscribers on my channel, which is really low. So, you know, I don't know if 
real or not, come on. Everybody remembers World of Warcraft, everybody rolling female chicks to check out their, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about that. This is not an adult live stream. <laughs> um, Sunshine Coast, fantastic, fantastic. Um, I'm in the UK, well, welcome, welcome, fantastic. Alright, I think um, nobody's asking any really crazy questions in chat right now, so I might read another question out from the YouTube chat. Um, I do apologise if I've missed um, missed, your, missed any of the questions tonight. I know there's a metric butt-ton that I do miss, but you got to remember I have reading and writing difficulties. So just uh, just give me, give me a chance and I will get to your questions eventually. Just don't know when. <laughs> Uh, first ever live stream for me. Welcome, Wills. Welcome, mate. Glad you could join. Um, uh, will the seed come out when you move into your base, or will it be longer? Probably when the base is finished. We're looking at around episode 30 to 40 at this time. Um, we'll make it a special occasion. I will release the download and the seed at exactly the same time, uh, so you guys can... You do all that, check it out, whatever, check my stats out, all that good crazy stuff. Um, alright, good stuff. Welcome. Alright, good. Alright, I'm going to go read a bit more questions out from the text document. Give me a second. Alright, so last question was, are you going to use uh, the new blocks? Yes, I said yes to that. Uh, we've got plans for an upcoming project very soon with the polished versions of Diorite and Andesite and uh, granite so don't you worry have we ha I got plans I got plans um, um, alright data is there any reason why you prefer using spider farms for wool rather than sheep sheep are just slower to be honest it is a lot easier when you build a fully AFK string farm which is a wool farm uh, and you just go to bed like I could go sit myself down in my string farm right now go to sleep wake up with uh, double chest full of string which can be all converted into wool so I have stacks upon stacks upon stacks of wool and guess how much work I've done absolutely but all alright that's the, that's the honest truth that's why I prefer it because I could go to the shops I could go get a coffee and it could be doing all the work for me that's the point of farming you know I like to do that sort of farming now uh, yes you could get sheep and line them up in a row and shear them that way or I've seen some pretty amazing shearing concepts on YouTube as well but I prefer the um, the string because it's just so much easier in my opinion you don't have to have a metric butt ton of sheep you just have to have one spawner and a few spiders spawning every few seconds that is it literally you don't have to have 200 sheeps to get a metric butt ton of wool fast as possible yeah so that's why I prefer the string farm over over an, a traditional wool farm any day of the week now some people will disagree with me but that's totally cool because that's their opinion but uh, that's what I believe anyway alright let me switch over to normal chat again and just make sure that I'm definitely not missing any 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 of these wonderful questions we're getting tonight um, I'm not going out of my way to get the coal at the moment now the since I'm using redstone at the moment I am definitely grabbing the redstone because uh, we're gonna have a metric butt ton of that eventually eventually but um, yeah, all right. Um, Will says they don't remember your old auto sheep breeder. It was very nice, um, but string is better. Yeah, string is better. I totally agree. Um, that farm no longer works because the they fixed the track glitch that I used to use for that a long time ago. See, this is the problem, guys. When using a glitch in Minecraft for farming, you get really disappointed if they patch it out, and that's that can do with anything like. Uh, for example, getting on top of the nether, you know, they could patch that out one day and you could get so used to using it and then all of a sudden it's gone, it's taken from you. It's like the, the, um, uh, the, the obsidian farm, the obsidian generators, that was technically a glitch and we took it for a van uh, granted. Now look at it, where everybody's having, having to find new ways of getting obsidian now, so, you know, that's a bit of a pain in the backside. And same with shifting floors, they attempted to try sh fix the shifting floor um, glitch for mob farms, but apparently they've uh, you find workarounds for that. But that's yeah, all right. Just be very wary of building farms with glitches, um, and always be prepared to fix it if they try to patch the glitch um, that you are using for Z farm. But um, yeah, 
I hate strip mining so much, somebody says. Oh, it's not that bad, mate. It's not that bad. Purple rock? Yes, purple rock. Purple rock. <laughs> I think we started something with the purple rock. Great. Holy smokes. Um, do you play League of Legends? No, I do not play League of Legends, mate. Um, I don't really play any other games at the moment because Minecraft takes 100% of my free time up now. Um, yeah, it's a, it, for me, Minecraft is an actual time sink. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. The amount of prep work that goes by, on behind scenes and these live streams that we do to get these resources so we get allowed to do these crazy episodes. Looks like we are currently full. I'm going to get the rest of this XP, though, and toss out any stinking gravel that I have in my inventory. Bye-bye. All right, let's start running back and uh, unload, but um, good stuff. The key's putting drops of music. <laughs> All right. I, hey, mate, welcome to the stream. All right, but uh, we're, yeah, we're just about to end the stream. We're going to go ahead and unload all this stuff and end the stream. It was a short stream tonight because remember it is like one o'clock in the morning for me or some crazy stuff like that. So yeah, just, 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 yeah, it was meant to be a short stream, but I think we streamed over an hour already. So good for you guys. Good for you guys. That's <laughs> gravel had a use in UHC. Oh no, 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 no. You'll never catch me saying gravel's good. <laughs> Oh, crikey. Oh, all right. Hi, welcome to the stream. People, why are people just showing up there? It's just about to end. Holy smokes. Don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube later on, um, feel free to uh, leave a comment or a question or a topic. You want me to talk about a topic? Uh, computer games, uh, hardware, I'm... Um, yeah, you can just leave a, leave a, leave it below, leave the question below in the comment box, and I'll try to answer it in the next live stream. Okay, guys, good stuff, good stuff. And if you guys want access to upcoming, uh, video content earlier, you can help support me by donating $10 for a donator rank, and that will definitely allow you to gain access to the donator section, which has, um, has videos uploaded, um, for advanced for the weekend. I normally upload everything before the weekend and put it in the donator section for the donators to watch because I try to give something back and then spread them out on YouTube later on. So yeah, if you want to watch it all in one go sort of thing, you can uh, help support me by leaving that $10 there and you'll be able to gain access to uh, the backstage stuff like backstage vlogs and, and you can even watch the DNR bloopers right now before they go live on Tuesday if you really, really, really wanted to. <laughs> but that's all in the Donators Lounge. I'll leave a link in the description to the Donators, uh, how all the Donators section works and I will uh, let put get a mod to post that in chat right now so you can, guys can go check that out. Um, all your all, all the support that comes in, all the money that comes in, goes towards supporting the server, my site, me, all that good stuff. It does cost me over four hundred dollars a month to run the server in server cost. So yeah, that's where your money's going towards and supporting me, um, all that good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and unload all this. Holy smokes! Well, we did good in diamonds tonight. Let's go see how those. Uh, 64 smelted down, throw that in there, throw that in there. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Lapis, There's actually not many lapis tonight. Coal? Yeah, I stopped going out of my way to get coal, that's why. Um, chat is still laggy, not sure, not sure. Throw all this away, which will, all this stone will be smelted down and used. Trust me, it will be used. I do promise that. <laughs> Everything that we farm is being used right now. Um, I'll have to throw that in there until I can press it down for later. Alright guys, thanks for watching this mining live stream. This was number 12. And I'll put this almost le le 30 levels, yes. And um, I guess i got to catch this all later because I'm going to go ahead and get some shut eye, I think. And um, yeah. Alright. Awesome. Thanks for coming out, guys. I will catch you all later.